Now, a recent interview came out in regards to Dragon Ball. The former editor of Dragon Ball, Kazuhiko Torishima, came out and was speaking about where he felt Dragon Ball should have ended. He was actually on some show, I believe, and it was like some new show or whatever. And the article on Anime News Network says that it was like some sort of recent one, but from what I understood, it was actually taken on May 8th. So it could be anywhere somewhere around, you know, the month of May that this interview took place. But one of the biggest things is that he came out and said he felt that Dragon Ball Z should have ended with the Frieza saga. That that's the arc where it should have, you know, wrapped up or whatever. And I'll actually read the quote so you can hear it for yourself. When asked where he thought the best place to end Dragon Ball, Torishima replied, Of course it should have been wrapped up with the Frieza saga. He then elaborated on the cell arc with, If you're gonna have an old fart, Dr. Jiro, fight ladies, then it's best to call it a day. Torishima thinks that if Akira Toriyama had retired the Dragon Ball series after Frieza, he could have went on to produce a third hit series. Now, first of all, one of the biggest things about this is definitely, at the end of the day, even if Toriyama wanted to, and we will never really know the truth at the end of the day because it's a business and a lot of the times they gotta say whatever they gotta say for Shueisha and Jump and whatnot but even if he wanted to at the end of the day let's be real here we know how Jump works they want them they want them and Dragon Ball Z if I'm correct was at the height of its you know popularity during the Frieza arc so there was no way in hell Jump was gonna let that go down now and it kind of makes me think as well about like other series like for example what if Bleach had ended after Aizen's capture? Could Kubo have come out immediately with another hit series? Because at that particular point, Bleach was still on fire. Bleach was still part of the big three. Bleach was still a huge, humongous hit. And Kubo still had the rep at the end of the day to continue. And whatever he would have made would have been like, people would have flocked to it. So, I wonder if the big problem as well with a lot of these things is, while milking these... They make the author suffer in a sense of like they could have gone on and make something that'll be just as big. Because if Toriyama did make a third series at that particular point, if he wasn't burnt out from doing manga. Because remember, after Frieza, he had the androids, he had Cell, and the notoriously long Majin Buu arc. And it's like, what if, let's just say, for example, Kishimoto wanted to end Naruto after part one. Now granted, Naruto part one ending it right there would have been way too of a loose end and it would have been like, what the fuck's going on? How do you end it there? But a lot of these authors, if they ended these series at the particular point that they wanted to or they felt it was right, they could have went on and made something else. So it definitely feels as though a big portion of this is due to obviously Jump just pushing forward and they're missing out because these authors, they continue the same story and then eventually look at Toriyama, he's burnt out. And the fact that the editor came out and talked a little bit of dirt about like, you know, the Android saga. Personally, the Cell saga is one of my favorite sagas in Dragon Ball Z. I don't care if you think it's bad, good, whatever the case may be. And if anything, while yeah, the Frieza saga was definitely very appropriate to end it with, ultimately I felt the Cell saga was more appropriate simply because Gohan in my opinion, was the up and coming and sort of the central focus of the Dragon Ball manga after the time skip. After Goku became an adult and had his son, I felt as though it was sort of the passing of the torch. And after he defeated Cell, it was to the point where it was like, this kid finally achieved what he needed to protect Earth. Goku no longer needs to look for somebody to pass the torch to. That's ultimately where I felt like it could have ended as well. Now, granted, I like the Blue Saga as well. Personally, I just, I love Dragon Ball Z. What the fuck, can, you know, what can you say or whatever. But I think the fact that he kind of went at the Android Saga, and I know I've read interviews in the past where he kind of, like back in the day when he was even talking to Toriyama about some of the stuff, and I don't know if it was this particular editor or another one, they weren't too fond of the Android stuff. They weren't fond of it. From what I understand in the previous interviews, like when Toriyama came up with the designs for like Android 19 and 20, Dr. Jiro and the robot, his editor was like, an, an old guy and some fucking weird fat robot what are you doing and then that's when he came up with the other androids he was like oh some teenagers whoopee and then that's when he came up with cell so a lot of these editors weren't even fond of the you know android saga and the cell saga to begin with so that could be as well why he came out and said that as well but either way it's very interesting to note that one of the editors felt that definitely the freezer saga should have been where the series ended and it could be a offhand you know comment or whatever could hold no weight as to how he truly feels but ultimately just found it very interesting that one of the people in charge of some point you know dragon ball manga actually felt that there was a cutting point where toriyama could have stopped and made something greater and who knows what would have happened if the freezer saga and there maybe toriyama would have made the next big series or something even greater than dragon ball because dragon ball while it was still a huge hit at that particular point it didn't become the rock monster that it became 
until after, especially in the U.S., the Cell Saga and the Majin Buu Saga. That's where in the U.S., especially me, I got into Dragon Ball Z when it was airing the Cell Saga. So, that speaks, even though I was already, I had seen it before, but, like, when I really became, like, you know, obsessed with it or whatever, it was during the Cell Saga. So, it's interesting to know, what do you guys think about this, though? Do you think, indeed, that the most appropriate time to have end the manga was during the Frieza arc? Personally, again, I think the Cell Saga at the end would have been a better fit, but your overall thoughts of this, and how do you feel as well about these editors that like they have these opinions and because of jump and whatnot they kind of got to be quiet about it and you know these manga again kubo could have already been on his next series if you know he indeed wanted to end after aizen's capture and your overall thoughts of this that's all i have for this one thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed if you do so as well that'd be amazing i'm for world and as always people have an awesome day